Good morning, my friends. Today, I decide to do a food review here at the Arvester. I'm here in uh, uh, Worcester town, so I can't wait to go inside and see what type of breakfast actually they are making. They do say they build here a friendly uh, restaurant. They want to make people feel welcome. They got all sorts of food, but uh, today I'm not going to look for the uh, different foods, but just one. I'm coming here to do a food review on their breakfast. And I do pray and hope actually it's gonna be really good. Hope you are all okay. Finally today, after almost two weeks, I feel a little better. Can I encourage you please uh, to subscribe and like, and I'm gonna tell you why. Even if you don't like this type of video, uh, YouTube still share with people like you who really like this type of videos. And Mr. Wig always will be very grateful. As you can see, I still use this spy clothes or normal clothes. Normally, I do use my Mr. Wig clothes and I couldn't because they, they wouldn't allow me to record. So fingers crossed I can do it. Maybe I will eat outside. It's very cold, five degrees. It's not warm. Nevertheless, hopefully this breakfast is going to be hot. It's going to keep me warm. Let's go. The staff here, they are not very helpful. The manager didn't want me to eat even outside. Why? Imagine if I had my Wister Week clothes, it would be even 10 times worse. But I have to mention on a positive side, this is the best presented breakfast that I ever had. So I had the ultimate breakfast. Altogether was almost 13 pounds, 12 pounds 98. This is how much I paid. You could have just one drink. If you want, you could pay 199 and you could have unlimited coffees or teas. Very good, they gave me three Le Park butter, so I'm good, just gonna put and try in this brown uh, bread. I have to mention about the, um, the fried eggs because the person who, 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 who attended me, they didn't even bother to ask, I had to ask. That's why I don't like these big places. There's not a customer service anymore. It's all about eat, Go, the next client. Wow, it's so cold here. The butter doesn't even melt. That was nice, actually. Um, let's start here with the... Um, with the beans. Let's see how good they are. The mushroom. three ash browns for this ultimate breakfast. I did expect that, so that was good. That was really good. But two, they are brown, the other is less brown, so they didn't cook it, they didn't cook it uh, maybe together.
I'm going to try the other, the other more brownish, so I'm expecting to be more crispy. I found there's a lot inconsistency. Over that, it's like they, um, it hasn't been cooked on this side, but on the other, almost at the end, there's a little burn. So I'm, I'm going to try the, the middle one. As you can see, this is better. This is better. Can you see the consistency? They are not consistent. I just spray they are okay. I had some mushrooms, but under the table, actually, there's mushrooms growing up. <laughs> I'm going to eat another slice, but I didn't like this sausage at all. I'll leave the other egg. One is well done, the other wasn't. There's a lot of inconsistency. What a shame, because the presentation was second to none. I just tried the bacon, and what a surprise actually. Really good, I'm really fussy about the bacon. Some people, they leave it very salty, the others not. Some people, they overcook them. Actually, this one was really good, I have to recommend. Let's try now the black pudding. Guys, can you see, look how bad and the inconsistency of the food. They didn't even cook this uh, tomato well. Maybe they cook, what, 10 seconds? Come on. It should stay longer. It should stay longer. Even one or two minutes more. That, for that, it's like they cut the tomato, they put it on top for 10 seconds and that's it. No good, no good. Mixed emotions here, it's got to be controversial. I know, big plate was, was really good. I'm done with this uh, ultimate breakfast. That is surprise actually, my expectations. And I'm going to say why. So harvest, they are really big. They are all over the country here in United Kingdom. I tried the English breakfast, it's very popular here in United Kingdom. I do like it. And some places they do better than the others. Uh, so let's talk about, I arrive, I had to wait 10 minutes. The manager, uh, she was not very friendly at all. She didn't even look into my face. She didn't even look, there was two girls, uh, youngsters, they were eating inside 20 something years old and they were waiting for the staff to, to get some directions or what to eat or where they could get the, the, the food. <coughs> and that was very sad actually to see that. What a shame. <coughs> it's just the staff, once again, they don't train them properly. And it starts from the manager. She was no good whatsoever. I have to push it and to push it to uh, be able to eat outside because they didn't allow me. Why? 
The client eats wherever he wants. There's plenty of tables here around me. This is just not for the summer or when the weather is good. So I have to, to force it and to say, look, actually, I do need to eat and smoke at the same time. I don't smoke, guys, but anyway, let's pretend I did, but I didn't. So the staff know very good. The place is really beautiful. The other person was someone else actually who served <coughs> It was someone else actually who served me and <coughs> I choose the breakfast and the drink. The person didn't have that customer service. It was so easy to see. She was going to leave, can I have the eggs? Well done, please. She didn't even ask me. She could even offer, there's a, an offer, you can have a, a 40 ounce of uh, uh, rum steak together. It's two pounds 99, very expensive. You got a big breakfast, why you want more? Uh, meat and you can pay 199 on top of the 12.98 um, to have unlimited drinks she didn't offer that that you lost it there so if you don't mention this thing to the to the clients or to people they are coming it shows it shows that you are lacking so they did like in approachable to deal with people that is one point less I didn't like that and today is very cold, five degrees, it was difficult to eat outside, the, the food went cold very quickly. I still enjoy it, because some I did enjoy, others not. The beans, it was alright, wasn't too bad. The two, there was three, I'm sorry, ash brown, three ash browns, they were here. Two, they were cooked to perfection, the other not so much. So I try uh, from, uh, from both, and one was okay, the other was fantastic. So the sausage, I didn't like them. I still left two and a half. They were not cooked to perfection, what is really sad. I don't know what the chef is doing here, um, but I didn't like them at all. Do you try actually your own food, guys, to see if people who come here, they really like? You do need to try the food that you're selling. I didn't like it at all. I don't know if they make a deal with the butcher, Whatever is the situation, didn't like it. The black pudding, didn't like it, just eat it half. It wasn't even fry, it was just boiled. That's what it felt to me. That is like lacking a lot of consistency. The bacon was amazing, it was really good, I like it. And I did like the mushrooms, I didn't like the tomato. They left it just maybe for 10 seconds. You could see on one side, they didn't even put them on top. They just put, I reckon, 10 seconds. You should live longer, my friends. You should live longer. So they did lack. What a shame. Let's go to rate them, guys. Let's go to rate them. 1 to 10. Mm. I'm going to give them just 7.5. 7.5 seven for this amazing, actually, uh, ultimate breakfast. Was good. Was the best presented breakfast. I have to mention that. I have to give credit to them. It was well presented, it was just the food inside that it was not cooked to perfection. There was one was here, the other was medium, and the, the other was even there. That is no good for me. So can I say, this place they did at the Vavavrum. Shakalalulu. Stay tuned for another 10 years of Mr. Wiggs videos, guys. You are all awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.